Hi, folks. This is Ada. Today we're going to talk about a fascinating topic in cryptography called ECDSA, which stands for Elliptic Curve Digital Signature Algorithm. But before we begin, please like the video, and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. ECDSA is a widely used digital signature scheme that provides secure authentication and integrity verification for digital data. At its core, ACDSA is a method for creating digital signatures using elliptic curve cryptography. Elliptic curves are mathematical curves defined by an equation that have unique properties that make them ideal for cryptographic applications. Elliptic curves can be in many different forms such as Weierstrass, Koblitz, or Edwards. ECDSA adopts elliptic curves in Weierstrass form. Let's say Alice's private key is represented as D. Alice calculates her public key point as Q is equal to D times base point G. Alice randomly selects a number K lowercase, which is used as a temporary value in the calculations. Alice then calculates a point on the elliptic curve called the corresponding point for K lowercase, denoted as K uppercase is equal to K lowercase times base point G. Alice next calculates R, which is the X coordinate of the point K uppercase. Alice then calculates S, which is derived from the formula S is equal to multiplicative inverse of K modulo the order of the elliptic curve times hash of message plus private key D times R modulo the order of the curve. The order is a fixed parameter that determines the number of points on the curve. Now let's move on to Bob, who receives Alice's message along with the digital signature R and S. Bob wants to verify the signature to ensure that the message was indeed sent by Alice and that it has not been tampered with. Bob then performs the following calculations. W is equal to multiplicative inverse of S modulo, the order of the curve. Then, he will calculate two points depending on W. U1 is equal to hash of message times W modulo the order of the curve times base point G. And U2 is equal to R times W modulo the order of the curve times public key Q. Finally, he adds point U1 to point U2 and calculates R prime. Bob now compares X coordinate of R prime with the received value of R. If they match, then the signature is valid, and Bob can be confident that the message was sent by Alice and has not been altered. If the calculated values for R prime and R do not match, or if any other error occurs during the verification process, then the signature is considered invalid. Now let's focus on how this is really working. Our prime calculation was the addition of U1 and U2. And it is equal to hash of message times W times base point G plus R times W times public key Q. Public key was private key D times base point G. R prime is equal to hash times W times base point G plus R times W times private key D times base point G. Now, both addition terms have base point G and W multipliers. R prime is equal to hash plus R times private key times W times base point G. Now expand W. It was the multiplicative inverse of S. And S is equal to hash plus R times private key D times multiplicative inverse of random key K. W can be represented as multiplicative inverse of hash plus R times private key times random key K. If we replace W calculation in the R prime calculation, R prime becomes random key K times base point and it is equal to random point K. On the other hand, R in the signature was the X coordinate of random point K. And we are comparing X coordinate of R prime and R itself in the verification. So, ECDSA is a powerful digital signature algorithm that provides secure authentication and integrity verification for digital data using ECC. ECDSA has been widely adopted in various applications, such as secure communication, blockchain technology, and digital certificates, due to its efficiency and security.